Welcome to Wealth Hub, a channel about personal finance and building wealth. I am sure you've seen the news lately on the market downturn. There are many things causing the sell-off. Inflation, the Fed, supply chain issues. All of these can influence or impact each other, causing the market to sell off even further. With the current market sell-off of about 10% in the S&P 500, since the peak in mid-January, it is considered a correction. Historically, market corrections occur every few years. This is part of investing, and if you are a long-term investor, it shouldn't have a big impact. This is because you are not close to selling your investments, and the market will hopefully recover. All of this based on your time horizon. If you are a trader, then your situation is different. As you can imagine, the downturn has negatively impacted my net worth for January. Altogether, I have lost thousands. I put lost in quotes because in reality, I have not lost anything. You only lose when you sell, and I have not sold anything. In fact, I've stuck to my investment plan. Nothing has changed. Even with the market taking a downturn, I let my automatic investments continue as planned. Before going into my net worth, I want to take a moment to define net worth for any new viewers. Net worth is defined as your assets minus liabilities. Assets refer to anything that you own of value, even those things that have debts. Anything you can sell for money. You can include items like jewelry, antiques, and electronics. To keep mine simple, I do not take these into account but feel free to include in your calculation if it makes sense for you. Liabilities are any debts that you have, whether they have something of value associated with it or not. This would be your mortgage, car loan, student loans, and credit card debt. Okay, with the basics taken care of, let's look at my numbers for January. For my assets, I have the categories of real estate. This includes my house, and a real estate investment, my car, investments in the market, and cash. For real estate, my assets total $480,000. My car is worth $16,000. My investments are $250,000. And I have $45,000 in cash. The drop in cash compared to the end of 2021 is because I had property taxes to pay. Adding all of these up brings my total asset value to $791,000. Now let's look at my liabilities or debts. The categories here are real estate and student loans. For real estate, my current debt for both my house and the rental property are $340,000. My student loans are $12,000. Adding these up brings my total debts to $352,000. Okay, now that my assets and liabilities are calculated, we can calculate my net worth, which would be equal to $791,000, which are my assets, minus the debts, which are $352,000 equals $439,000. This means my net worth after the market dip in January totals $439,000. My net worth at the end of 2021 was $466,000. This means that my net worth went down by $27,000 in one month. This may seem alarming, but it's all part of the market fluctuations. And in this case, to the market correction. What I am looking at more broadly in my situation is to make sure that I am sticking to my financial plan and am spending as planned and investing following my plan. How does your net worth look? Did you see a dip in your net worth? As always, thank you for watching until the end. Remember to hit the like button if you have enjoyed the content, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. If you want to see regular content, you could add me on Instagram at wealth underscore up. 
Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.